the Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe Railroad and its over 2,000 mile long transcontinental mainline is one of the most famous and busiest in the United States. Seeing frequent freight and passenger service between Chicago and Los Angeles since 1893, this railroad boasted high standards of quality, speed, and efficiency for travel from Chicago to the Southwest. In order to maintain such a remarkable status, the Santa Fe took many measures to uphold their reputation with publicity events, investments in route expansions, and the purchase of comfy passenger cars and faster, efficient steam locomotives. One of the many engines which the railway rostered for this purpose was the Santa Fe 1000 class, with one of the most well known being number 1010. This is a case as the engine set a speed record for the railroad's mainline for decades by pulling one of the railroad's most popular publicity attempts, the Scott Special. As a truly innovative railroad, the Santa Fe often invested in new state-of-the-art technology in order to enhance their overall performance as a railroad. Around the turn of the 20th century, the Santa Fe decided to introduce their 262 Prairie-type locomotives, evolving from the 260 Mogul, as the railroad was one of the largest users of this type and the first of their kind to be used in the U.S. The first variation of the Prairie-type on the Santa Fe was the 1000 series, built in 1901, with the first batch of locomotives being numbered 1000 to 1013. Since the Santa Fe mainline consisted of numerous steep grades, especially in the deep southwest such as the Raton Pass and the world famous Cajon Pass, Baldwin's design offered a long boiler and a grate, so that the engine would not be short of steam while climbing these inclines. Additionally, Baldwin also used the Vulcan patent when designing these locomotives, incorporating a four-cylinder unit controlled by one set of piston valves. By using the steam for the boiler twice before releasing it into the atmosphere, this achieved unprecedented levels of fuel conservation. Initially intended for high-speed passenger service, the 1000 class series entered service soon after being built in 1901 as they proved to be reliable for the unforgiving route of the Santa Fe. Soon thereafter, the speed and reliability of engine 1010 and others on the railroad will be put to the test for a new speed record. On July 8, 1905, Walter E. Scott, also known as Death Valley Scott, offered to pay the Santa Fe $5,500 to get him from Los Angeles to the Windy City in under 46 hours, with the current record being 58 hours for the trip, in order to promote the Big Bell Mine, owned by his good friend, E. Bird and Gaylord. The railroad agreed and made a special train for the historic trip, known as the Scott Special, also known as the Coyote Special, the Death Valley Coyote, and the Death Valley Special. The very next day on July 9th, the train left Los Angeles La Grande Station at 1 p.m. led by engine 442 as engineer John Finlay and fireman C.B. Ashball with over 20,000 people cheered as the historic special moved eastward on its journey to the Windy City. The contest included baggage car number 210, dining car number 1407, and Pullman sleeping car Muskegon. In order to prevent delays on the trip as the train would need to stop for water and fuel, 19 locomotives were prepared along the route so that as one reached the end of its fuel, it would relay the three cars off to the next fully fueled and braid locomotive to continue to run. As the third engine in this run, Santa Fe 1010, one of the newest engines to be part of this run, being only four years old at this point, operated by engineer Fred W. Jackson and fireman H. Nelson, pulled the three cars between Needles, California and Seligman, Arizona, a total of nearly 150 miles and remained on the train for the longest duration, clocking 3 hours and 31 minutes for the run. After numerous transfers between fellow Prairies, 460 10-wheelers, 462 Pacifics, and 442 Atlantics, Santa Fe 517, operated by engineer Charles Lucy and fireman W.M. Schulzer, pulled the Scott Special into Chicago Dearborn Station at 11.54 a.m. on July 11th, thus setting a new speed record of 44 hours and 54 minutes for the run between Los Angeles and Chicago. The speed record set by the Scott Special stood for years and was not beaten in regular service until the introduction of one of the railroad's most famous passenger trains, the Super Chief, in 1936. After the historic run of the Scott Special, 1010 and other locomotives in its class continued to pull the major passenger trains of the Santa Fe. Later on in its life, 1010 and two other prairies were fitted with stainless Jacob Schubert fireboxes and were reclassified as Class 1001s, but the experiment for lower maintenance was not a long-term success. Additionally, 
The Vulcan system installed in 1010 was expensive to maintain and was not altogether successful, causing the Santa Fe to later convert 1010 to use single expansion cylinders along with Wall Street's valve gear in November 1923 as part of a rebuild program for the class. It was not uncommon at the time to swap boilers among locomotives of the same class, as 1010's current boiler was originally built for engine number 1000. Yet with the persistence of time and evolution in technology, newer and more powerful steam locomotives and even diesel locomotives were purchased for the Santa Fe as the 1000 class was starting to be phased out in the mid-1930s. Number 1010 was converted to use oil as a fuel source instead of coal, and was also placed on a set of 69-inch drivers in January 1936. With little mainline passenger service left for this locomotive, 1010 was then assigned to the Plains Division for freight, mixed train, and switching service. In November 1950, it was transferred to the Slayton Division in Texas. 1010, being the last locomotive of its class still on Santa Fe's roster at the time, was then used for the Death Valley Days television program for the episode titled Death Valley Scotty for the 50th anniversary of the Scott Special, as the locomotive reenacted the historic run. The link for this video can be found in the description below. The locomotive's last run under steam was from Los Angeles to Azusa on February 4th, 1955, interestingly enough along the present-day LA Metro Gold Line, which used to be part of the Santa Fe's main line. This locomotive was also featured in the 1958 episode of the TV series Sky King, entitled Stop That Train, before being officially retired in 1959. However, this would not be the end of the locomotive's career, as it was featured in the 1964 film The Carpetbaggers and was painted red in the same year for a commercial for a Southern California General Electric advertisement campaign and stayed in that color at least through 1969. After years of it starring in movies, television shows, and publicity stunts, the locomotive was repainted black and was then stored at the Redondo Junction Roundhouse in Los Angeles until July 1974 when it was moved to a roundhouse in Albuquerque, New Mexico to join other historic Santa Fe equipment in storage for a proposed company museum. Thankfully, this locomotive would continue to preserve history as four years later, the Santa Fe agreed to make 1010 available for an exhibit at the California State Railroad Museum near Sacramento. The locomotive was brought to the museum in the fall of 1979, with the Santa Fe officially donating number 1010 to the museum on October 24, 1984. Santa Fe 1010 still resides at the California State Railroad Museum to this day, has a static display in the main museum hall, along with some display panels describing this god special. 1010 is now one of 16 Santa Fe prairies in preservation and thus continues to preserve the history of one of the most well-known specials for the Santa Fe Railroad, as well as one of their purchases of innovative railway technology which helped set a precedent for passenger service in the long run. Thank you all for watching this episode of Remarkable Engines. This locomotive goes down in history for being the last surviving engine which pulled one of the greatest record-setting specials on one of the most well-known Class 1 railroads. Even though the present day service on the route, Amtrak Southwest Chief, makes the run in under 43 hours, without delays, Santa Fe 1010 and the other engines involved in the run help set a precedent of high speed service along the route and new railway technology to help achieve the best service for the region. Not to mention, this locomotive often made cameos in western films and television programs to show how life was in the late wild west at the turn of the 20th century. Overall, the addition of this locomotive being used for record-setting runs, publicity stunts, and for showcasing the ways of the West makes this locomotive a truly remarkable engine. Thank you again for watching and stay tuned for when I cover NJT4109. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Have a good day!